Hello guys, this is West Plains Fire Department, station number two. I'll be giving you a quick tour of the station, uh, starting here at the fire bay. Uh, one thing I'll point out from the front, this is the front of the station obviously, but right there is the employee entrance on the front that goes into a hallway where the bunk rooms and uh, day room are at. So need to know where that's at in reference when we get inside. The trucks that you see, uh, 4622, that's the first dew pumper out of this station. It's a uh, 1997 Freightliner. The truck in the middle, 4633, that is a 1987 Ford fire apparatus. That's our reserve pumper and also um, our mutual aid and automatic aid pumper. And then the truck on the end is not actually the truck that would normally be at this station. Normally this would be at my station, station three. Um, this is 4614, the uh, aerial ladder. And normally we would have 4616 here, which is a, uh, I believe it's a Spartan. It's a blue and white uh, ladder truck. So, but this truck's taking its place right now while it's down for repairs. So we'll just start right in here. We have a, an entrance right here off of this corner of the building. And then this opens up right here, turn the light on. And this is our workout room, workout area for this station. And uh, it's not huge by any means, but there's definitely enough room. We've got rubber mat flooring. These are stall mats, the three quarter inch thick stall mats that we've got on the floor. And we've got a pull up and a, a squat rack and bench press rack there on the wall. And then a lot of miscellaneous uh, dumbbells, rubber bumper plates that uh, CrossFit Somo here in West Plains actually donated to our department for our workout area and uh, man those things are nice especially if you're doing any kind of barbell work and uh, you know you can drop them and not not tear anything up so we've got some curl bars a bunch of steel plate weights um, I did a video a while back on a, uh, a belt sander that I built using a bench press and this is actually the, uh, the seat or the you know the bench that was left over from that and that's why I saved it was for this station so anyways that's a whole different video but so that's the workout area and then just outside of that right here there's a treadmill and it's nice in the mornings when we uh, we pull the station or pull the trucks out of the station and we wash the bay floor in here and this is all wide open and then your workout area is over here in the open and you know turn on some tunes and, and get a good workout in and you've got the whole bay floor to to use to add into your workout if you're going to do some squats or if you're going to do some lunges or something like that so it's pretty nice uh first room here on the left get the lights this is our hose maintenance and gear maintenance room so we have a hose washer right here of course the hose rack um, got a couple extra pieces of equipment back there there's a a heated pressure washer that we use for the uh, ladder maintenance on our ladder trucks to wash off old grease to, to replace that and then a dog tag machine back there uh, this gear washer is an extraction type washer uh, specifically for turnout gear and then of course a hose dryer which doubles as a gear dryer uh, a really old washing machine that still works and we use that to wash the chamois and then right here, ice machine because we have uh, water coolers with drinking water on most of our trucks and we uh, put fresh ice and water in those each morning. And then this room uh, currently is just a storage room, but it was set up. You can see the, uh, the air nozzle coming through the wall and the receptacles. This was set up to be a maintenance room for SCBAs. Um, or other gear that needs worked on so but like I said right now that's just a storage room and we'll come back out here have this pretty ladder truck uh, right here we have a 
restroom. This is basically just automatic light. If you're out here in the bay and you need the restroom, this is the, the closest and quickest to get to. So just basic restroom. Um, none of this bay is cooled. It is heated, but it is not cooled. So, and then this is our main maintenance room. Um, you can see all the all the mess that's in here, but we do a lot of our our chemical type stuff in here, um, mixing weed spray and stuff like that for maintenance on hydrants and around the stations. And then we keep our buckets or barrels of sawdust, mowing mowing equipment. Um, there's the jump start pack, and then our janitor sink for mopping the floors. So then uh, this door right here just goes outside. And that's the uh, back corner of the station. Then we have our workbench back here, which primarily, as you can see, gets used for hose repair and SCBA work. And then the end of the workbench, we've got a little bit of space there to work on other stuff. And these, uh, these ladders are off of 4616 while it's at the shop. So they're taking up some floor space back here. But uh, this is our safety house that we take to schools and PR events and uh, run the kids through simulations on anything from earthquakes, tornadoes, um, what to do if your smoke alarm or fire alarm activates. We have a sprinkler system in the front of this where we can actually light a fire and demonstrate how a sprinkler system works or doesn't work. And We'll work our way around here. Here's the back of 4633. Like I said, this is the uh, 1987 Ford Fire Apparatus. Excellent truck. Been around for a long time. It's got a Caterpillar diesel in it. And then 22. You guys have probably seen 22 before in other videos. So, uh, oh yeah, I forgot about 28. This is uh, 4628. I don't know the year but it's uh, one of the military surplus uh, diesel Chevys uh, the diesel has kind of given us a lot of trouble um, runs good most of the time but when it's acting up those those military diesels are kind of a pain to work on the Chevy diesels anyway but uh, it's got a nice utility box on it that uh, some of us guys worked on got all cleaned up it's got a nice skid unit in it um, with the booster line and the uh, inch and a half pre-connect. Got our rakes on both sides and these tubes that run up and down. Uh, works really well for us. And then we keep a couple of uh, steel BR600 backpack blowers up here on top. And of course the, uh, the utility bed itself. We've got several chainsaws, uh, Indian packs, axes, helmets, um, you know just all of our brush fire wildland type gear. Um, it, is, it is an automatic transmission, so nice little truck. Then this door, right in between the two trucks, I'm going to back up here. This door goes into, actually goes into the dining area, which opens up into the day room, and then that window right there that you see is actually the office, so there's just a dividing wall. You'll see that in a minute. So let's go in here and see where the firefighters spend their time at. Um, it's a little bit of a mess right now. We're right in the middle of doing MDA, so we've got our coin counter set up and our kitchen area right here is kind of a wreck um, just because of MDA. It would normally be nice and tidy. but So we've got our little dining area. Uh, of course, you can see back in the corner, we've got our, our kitchen. Uh, this is our day room area where we can kick back and relax, turn on the TV. Uh, over here here's our office it's a nice little office for this station so have everything we need for reports taking down burn permits etc etc uh, through this window and through this door is actually a public restroom there's my shift relief setting outside <laughs> but uh, there's a public restroom right here and this door uh, is only openable from the inside, so we can let people in, but uh, they can't just come in without being let in. I'll show you, pan around the kitchen real quick. So we've got a nice cooked top stove, uh, microwave, everything but a dishwasher, really. 
and our uh, cabinets are split up between companies. So whatever company is working here, they've got their own their own cabinet. Uh, this door goes out on a on a patio that wraps around the station and goes all the way back to the beginning of the bay and then slopes down. And I'll probably walk out there and show you that. Now, when I was at the front of the building, uh, I was showing you the employee entrance. This is that hallway, that doorway that leads into this hallway. Every room on the left is a bunk room, which we currently don't use because there's only one person at a station. But we have a restroom here. I'll just show you that real quick. They're all, they're all identical, but uh, they all have the automatic lights, shower, stool, sink area. Okay, so they're all, all these bathrooms are the same. All the bathrooms are the same throughout the station, but we have another restroom right here. Uh, this is a closet for cleaning supplies. So, you know, just dust broom. All of our cleaning supplies, chemicals, etc., are all in here. And then the last room in the hallway on this side is the captain's captain's quarters but since we don't have a captain at the station it's just the engineer this is our bunk room now uh, my bed isn't made because I'm not staying here tonight I'm just working the first 12 at this station and then I'm on a 24 at my station tomorrow so, and this is the only bunk room that has an attached bathroom and it's bigger than the other bathrooms it has the uh, of course the stool shower and sink like the other other bathrooms do but it's connected directly to the bunk room and it's a little bit larger um, got those three lockers and then behind the door behind me is another set of lockers so that all the companies have their own locker there be four guys that work at this station uh, one guy 24 hours at a time four companies and then that rotation starts over again so uh, let's see, let me walk out here and just show you our grounds a little bit. Keep everything locked up. This is kind of a kind of a rough neighborhood. So walks out onto this patio and basically the property line is at the edge of this dirt spot there. So the patio comes around. Hey Lieutenant. YouTube video, station tour. So as you can see, this wraps around, and then here's our parking back here. So a little storage building. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. This this door leads back into the corner of the fire bay, and it's vented in the back. And that's about it for station two, guys. This is kind of our relaxing area out here we can grill and hang out on nicer days so thanks for watching